Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about Metallic, Roughness, and Specular in Visual Shaders in Godot 3. So for each one of these properties, Metallic, Roughness, and Specular, they're all looking for data values from 0 to 1. You could plug in a color, but it's still only going to be looking for dark and light, 0 to 1 information. Your Metallic usually only wants to be 0 to indicate that it's not metallic, and 1 to let you know that it is metallic. If you're using ranges in between, that usually designates something like dirt or a little bit of age, but there really isn't a natural metallic property in between zero and one. Your roughness is gonna be, is it smooth or isn't it smooth? Now the specular with nothing plugged in, the default value is 0 0.5. Another thing to note is that adjusting the specular while your material is full metallic, it's not gonna have any effect. Now, if it's not metallic, what you'll find is as you increase the specular, you're going to be tightening the specular highlight, and you usually don't want to go above one. Really, you normally want to leave this at 0.5, unless you're trying to do some sort of fine tuning or something stylistic. Now, if this is metallic, and we have a color in the albedo, this is going to determine the specular highlight. This is going to be the only way that you'll affect the specular, and or the specular color. Now, since this is raw data, if you're texturing an asset, it's recommended that these are all channel packed into an RGB or an RGBA texture. The specular is usually never needed. But as an example, I have the roughness channel packed into the green channel, and I have the metallic channel packed into the blue channel. Programs like Substance Painter and Substance Designer will help you channel pack automatically, and if you need to do it manually, you can do it in programs such as Photoshop and GIMP. When you import these channel pack textures or data textures, you want to make sure that sRGB is turned off. And in your texture node, you want to make sure that this is set to data. If you have this set to color, you won't have the appropriate ranges. All right, guys, that should cover metallic, roughness, and specular in visual shaders. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.